Welcome back to Building Killed with Ethan, and today I will be showing you how to make insanely smooth gravity. It is the smoothest and most best gravity ever. First thing you want to do is name your project what you need it to be named. This one is Smooth Gravity. And, yes, I'm just going to simply open up my platform that has it. It's actually not the word you need. Fall rate, jump power, speed, and Y. Come here. First thing you want to do, delete, fall rate. Fall, space, rate, jump, power, and of course if you're going to be making a two player game where you use this as both, they will for this play only otherwise it will get confusing. Jump, power, fall, weight, fall, weight, Y, and speed. That's all you need. Go to zero zero, click, set, y to zero, wrap out for more, fall rate, a good fall rate is 1.5, a good jump power is 200, and a good speed, you don't actually want to set it to anything, just set it to zero, otherwise you'll be glitching it out. Name this part player. A good thing about the design I'm using is either you can use a level to detect or a background to detect to be detecting as floor. Thing you want to do, you want to choose your color and make sure you have to make sure outline and set outline is set on at four, otherwise. Flowing will not work. Go straight for the square. Make a good, nice cube. And if the square is not full, the whole thing will be ruined. Now you made the background. Come here. Next part is a forever loop. Now do a forever loop. You wanna. Set Y to Y, then you want to F arrow key pressed. You want to get an F statement, whatever arrow key you want. I'm going with up, then let me check it out fast. Not. And then we'll get a knot. We'll get a knot and one more. And you actually want an F else. So if just an F. Now that we've got that, let's simply do the first one. You want to get an and and an or. And, or. Now I'll drag the arrow key into the and. Now for the or, you want to go to sensing, touching color. Let's go where you want to do. It's that black. That's why it's super important. Otherwise, the whole thing will not work. The other color is the color of your bottom that's below the black and if you do not have an outline of four you don't need that outline to be black but you need an outline of four or this will not work and it needs to be a different color than the floor it may look weird having an outline of a different color but this will make it not work change y 
like jump power. Come here, you want to get here, duplicate that, break out a knot, if it's not touching the color black. Go here, set speed zero, else change speed by one, which then will make the speed one, but you want to do this before, otherwise it will be at speed zero, and the next script is change y by zero minus v times four weight. But if um, speed is zero, it will just not change it until the next time, which then makes it a little slower. And the zero minus is so you don't have to put a negative. It's an easier way of having to make it a negative. And because of the speed variable, slowly fall faster. And now you want to get F touching this color, which means you're in the floor. You pass the, the top, which is four deep, which is the perfect height. If you're touching that, then you want to simply Duplicate that code, come here, move the zero minus, drag it in right there, and then, voila, it's perfect. See how if the person gets stuck in the floor, they can come right out and fall away. If you turn it way up, look, it tries to pull you down, but then it gets stuck. You. You want it reasonable, like a higher fall rate if you want them to fall faster, but eventually if you have it too fast, it will just glitch out. One, I think it's up to seven. Uh, seven's too high. And six is actually the maximum. No, six is not the maximum. It's just if it gets too high, turns out five's the maximum, gets too high, you'll just get stuck. I set it to 200, but you can actually turn up the jump power. Just if, if you do it too much, you, you, you'll get stuck. But see how the speed ramps up, and then it keeps on getting higher? Thing is, it's doing like, so far it's doing like 300 times your fall weight, which is five. Now it's 400, so we're doing it faster. It's just keep this one at five. You can do this one with jump power up to infinite as you want. It's just it's about the amount of time you want to wait. See, look, if you put it as one, you you got to be reasonable because look, you can't jump high enough. You change up one, and then it pulls you four down. This thing then pushes you five up. And then you get stuck in an endless loop like this. Can't get out of it. That's why you need it at the minimum five. Otherwise, you'll be in an infinite endless loop. And I hope you liked today's tutorial.